Good afternoon, everyone. Cosmic rays spiking. You didn't hear that over 90% of the lower 48 in the U.S. was frozen over the new year. Update on the bombogenesis rolling over the Canadian Maritimes. Strong windstorms in Europe as well. Cyclones out of place in Australia. And the fourth industrial revolution, unlike anything humankind has experienced before, these are the industries that are going to be disrupted. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Taking a look at Carlos Ramirez's Cosmic Ray updates. Independent researcher, but he's piecing together his own information outside of what the other networks are doing. Great follow here. He updates about every quarter, every half year. This is the second set of charts that I received. And we can absolutely see the increase and progression from 2014 all the way to 98.1. That's why that chart out here, the grand solar minimum effects speak for themselves. Decreased solar activity results in more cosmic rays hitting this planet. On to the Bobogenesis, Ryan Maui putting great updates up there. I linked everything below, including his Twitter feed. You can go there, find all these images that I'm about to use. The storm's progressing up to the Canadian Maritimes, leaving a wake of destruction. And they say the winds are going to be as powerful as Sandy at this point moving forward. Also, another little nugget that he had on his feed here. January 1st, 2018, I didn't realize that over 90% of the United States, except for Hawaii, was below freezing, which is under 32 Fahrenheit, 0 C. Didn't see that on your news feed, did you, on the national news telling you everything about our world? Here you go. Also, Bobby keeping a good feed in his thread going on in OzPolitik, following more the Australian edge of things. He's really been on this for the last two years. I consider him one of the experts down in Australia to tell you what's going on regionally there. And he posts about anomalous weather, another good resource. Talking about Cyclone Hilda, completely out of place. The cyclone was approximately 1,000 to 1,200 miles difference in its normal track. Anyway, Cyclone Hilda, Western Australia, landing, soaking the desert. Now, speaking of high wind events, here we go. Europe is starting to encounter, and has been over the last couple days, extreme winds. I'll cover the double lows coming over the UK. They're already starting to experience ice storms and wind across Europe as well. Now, on to the fourth industrial revolution. What does this mean for you and I? This is off the World Economic Forum. This fourth industrial revolution will be unlike anything humankind has ever experienced before. And the timing is really interesting that we're heading into the grand solar minimum. Cryptocurrency is on the rise as a replacement medium as our economies start to crumble. New tech is going to move us forward in food growing so we can survive this event. And it goes on to talk about the velocity, the scope, and the system's impact are going to be so fast that it is going to blow past everything in terms of how long the uptake, comparatively to historical uptakes of new technology and invention, this is going to be compressed again even further over the internet revolution, if you will. So the industries that are going to be affected, and if you are not a fan of change and adapting to new conditions, you are going to go extinct in this new world that we're entering. I've linked everything below. The list is incredible to look at the changes that are coming with AI, our currency, population migration, movement, food growing prices, and it all culminates in the grand solar minimum. And the last thing that I found most interesting out of this lengthy report is about 3,500 words. If you want to spend the time, it's well worth the read to show you the future. It's all about the supply side miracle, meaning we're going to have to supply locally and those who can supply locally in local regions, you are going to be the new billionaires of this planet. And I want to talk about uptake of technology. We we'll start to look even from electricity and the telephone all the way to the internet and the mobile phone. But look at this, clear down at the bottom, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. 
is just starting right now. This is going to be the new money we'll use as we transition into this new economy. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Iguanas falling out of the trees in Florida. It's so cold. In the next video.